Remember when I said I was gonna downsize my collection and stop buying stuff? I lied! You've made it to the greatest smelling channel on YouTube, J Royal. Hopefully I don't have toothpaste in my beard. I'm good, okay. This is a channel all about fragrances, mainly for men, but I got some unisex stuff that I talk about for the ladies too, so don't feel left out. No FOMO for y'all. I have here a brand new fragrance, at least it's brand new to me, in the plastic. Bought it on Fragrance Buy because you can't beat those prices, man. And to a lot of you, this may seem like a very familiar box. It's like, James, you talk about this fragrance a lot. Why do we have to hear about it again? Well, maybe to the untrained eye, it looks familiar, but if you look a bit closer, this is the oil version, the Parfum Non-Alcoholic Concentrated Luxury French Perfume Oil version of Club de Nuit Intense Man. So I'm gonna unbox this for you guys. I'm gonna try it on, give you my first impression, wear it throughout the day, and I'll let you know if it was a blind buy or a bust. So, plastic's coming off. ASMR. Ooh. You getting tingles? So, um, funny little uh, little handle at the top. It's a cloth little little dinger, as I like to call. And then you open it up, and it slides out, and you got this beautiful little vial here, taking me back to my chemistry days. It's like a tiny little volumetric flask. I think I just broke the cap. So this is how it's supposed to look. That's how it looks now. <laughs> Whoopsie. It is what it is. So Armoff's quality never ceases to amaze me, but we're here to try out the fragrance itself, the oil, so have no idea how this works. It looks like it is a, a bit of a dabbing situation. I am going to dab behind my ear, very posh, and on my hand as well. So you're only getting 20 mils with this bottle, y'all, but a little goes a long way with this. It's a concentrated oil, and already I can smell it. <laughs> so the first impression is quite positive. I think it smells pretty good off the top. It has that signature Club de Nuit Intense band, black currant, slightly musky quality that I really like. But what's great about this is it doesn't have the harsh alcoholic opening because it has no alcohol in it, man. If you're an Alcoholics Anonymous, you can wear this. So it smells pretty good. This is definitely a better first impression than I get with the original, with the limited edition EDP thing. There's just so many variations of this fragrance. But so far, this one, so good. You do have to get used to the application aspect of like dabbing it in and then go on about your day. You can't just spray like a boss. But if it means that it has better longevity and you don't have that harsh opening, maybe it's worth the trade-off. So I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and give you my final thoughts. I'll also get Leslie's opinion later on. So you can stay tuned for that too. Um, see you in a little bit, bye. And all of a sudden there was a Leslie that appeared. Leslie's very cold and slightly grumpy. Yeah. Not really. When Leslie's grumpy, she's not really that grumpy. <laughs> it's not grumpy in the grand scheme of things, but comparatively speaking to her normal self, it's a bit grumpy. So let's just get this over with. Um, <laughs> Leslie, <laughs> I have a fragrance that I'm testing out today. What do you think of it on my hand right now? It's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Can you smell it on my, my neck? Nope. Nope? <laughs> How about behind my ear? <laughs> yes, behind your ear. Okay, so it's very subtle. But overall, on a scale from one to 10, what do you think of this smell? <laughs> <laughs> An eight. An eight, very good. So this is Club Dinuwee Intense Man oil version. So it's, there's actually no per, like perfumer's alcohol in it. It's just an oil-based oh. fragrance of Club Dinuwee Intense Man. The one that I wore in Collingwood, the one that I wore in Colorado. Montreal, in Colorado. We're in Blue Mountain, Colorado, enjoying ourselves. Colorado. Okay, so we're in Blue Mountain, Collingwood. And I'm wearing the sweater again. It's amazing. <laughs> you only have one jumper. Yeah. I'm gonna give my final thoughts in just a second. Thank you, Leslie. 
you're, you're saying thanks too? <sighs> Long day. So, my final thoughts on the oil version of Club Denui Intense Man. I think this is a winner. What this tends to lack in projection, it makes up for it in its longevity, but also its scent overall. The alcohol in the original is what made it a little kind of stingy in the nostrils. This one, because it's just the oil, it's smooth. It just sits on your skin, just chills there, doesn't develop at all, but that's a good thing because the way it starts and the way it finishes is great. Leslie gave it high praise because the scent DNA is just unparalleled, especially in the cheapy realm. The only drawback I can find with this is the application. Because it's an oil, you may not be used to applying it that way, dabbing it on, and it's also sometimes hard to figure out how many swipes or dabs is good for you. I discovered that maybe I underapplied. I just put a little bit on behind my ears and on my hand for testing. My hand is still going strong, but don't really smell it too, too much emanating from my neck. That could be different if I was outside today at all, which I wasn't. If you're open to the idea of using fragrance perfume oils as a daily driver, let's say, or a signature scent, this is great. And something about wearing this makes you feel like a real frag cat. You're not just a dude rocking some Versace stuff, no. You got an attar, a fragrance oil. It's part of the experience after all. Have you tried this? Let me know and let our friends know at the Royal Fam what you think of it. Because I'm just one person with one opinion, but I'm not gonna go into that outro. Instead, I'm just gonna say bye.